This is my harness for the uh, show. They dragged me to hell. And you can see right in here, they attach a carabiner to this and they pull me backwards to hell. Five centimeters small. <gasps> That's a good amount. That's right. Danke schön. <laughs> Getting normal again, going back to myself. singing the character of Don Giovanni, but for me it's really deep in a lot of different ways. I do a lot of similar things than other baritones, and I do a lot of different things too. But if you want to see or read about my take on the role and on the man, the myth, the legend himself, I just put up a new blog uh, on Don Giovanni. Uh, we call it uh, How I Roll. Really roll. And uh, anyway, go to the blog and check that out, and you'll get to read all about how I portray the character and what I think of the man himself. So, look, just tell us about the role of Don Giovanni. What are your feelings about the role of Don Giovanni? Taste, taste, flaky, buttery, flaky crust. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaiian. Hawaiian roll. Hawaiian. Pizza. Not a pineapple guy. No. Oh, not a cooked pineapple guy. No, no. Savory with pineapple? No. no. Straight up pineapple? Yes. Yeah. I think Don Giovanni was the same. I mean, it's like he ate pineapple for a completely different reason. True. Who's the real left right? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the use of trombones in Don Giovanni? Well, it's funny you say that actually, because Don Giovanni it was a whole different soundscape that Mozart created actually, and I, I think we'll find in the later symphonies, the, the last two symphonies, I think we'll find um, he used trombones for the first time, and, and also in the Requiem, obviously, but only to double the choir. In Don Giovanni, though, the trombones are used as an independent instrument to show how scared everyone is. Everyone's scared. <laughs> Baby, you deserve a break. We'll go shopping when we land. So let's leave our baggage at the gate. Thank <laughs> you. 